Turning now to an attack at a local high school, deputies and first responders were called to Cypress Creek High School today for a fight that sent a student to the hospital. Now, that's located in the Hunter's Creek area of Orange County. New 6's Emily McLeod joins us now live near the school. And Emily, what details are you hearing about that student who was injured in all this? Yeah, we're hearing the student had a cut on their forehead from what the district is from what the district is calling some sort of vape device. Now, we're not exactly sure what details led up to this or what exactly happened, but we did speak to one mom today as she was picking up her son and she says she's afraid to send him to school tomorrow. Very, very scary, especially that we don't know what's going on is going to happen next to someone else at school. Orange County Public Schools confirming a fight between two students on Wednesday at Cypress Creek High School. According to the district, one of the students got a cut on their forehead with what they say may have been a vape device. The Orange County Sheriff's Office also confirming that student was taken to the hospital. This is Principal Mendez calling to make you aware that our school was placed on a hold due to altercation that occurred on campus between two students. The school was placed on a hold, which means students remained in their classrooms while instruction continued. Gloria Latoon spoke with us about the fight as she was picking up her son and tells us he was in shock. As a parent, I regret to put my son in this school. Right now, we don't know if we're gonna be him tomorrow because we don't know what's gonna happen next. We spoke to Pedro Laboy as he was picking up his grandson. He couldn't believe it when he heard the fight had happened. It's so scary, you know, how, how Life is going. Unfortunately, you know, young people don't don't have that pause to think about. Mm -hmm. It's only thing I can say. I don't know too much too many details about what happened, but but yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate that uh, it's always a violence involved. Leighton also tells us she would like to see metal detectors in all schools to make sure incidents like this don't happen. Now, Orange County Sheriff's Office does tell us they are investigating this incident, but no word yet on whether or not an arrest will be made. We'll keep up with those details and bring them to you on air and online at clickorlando.com. For now, reporting live in Orange County, I'm Emily McLeod, getting results, News 6.